Well, not so far from uh, Ghana. Nigeria has come a long way in press freedom since uh, shedding its military dictatorship era and adopting democracy. Now, one of the more recent indications is last year's passage of the Freedom of Information Act. For more discussion on this, we are joined by Leo Kayan, Chief of VOA's House of Service. Welcome to our special today, Leo. Nice being Most here. Most welcome. Most yes, welcome. Absolutely. And actually looking at that... Uh, thank you for having me. Yes, thank you very much. Actually looking at uh, the, uh, the information free, uh, Freedom of Information Bill, mm -hmm. it makes Nigeria one of the exemplary countries in uh, you know, freeing the media, would you say? Yeah, well, uh, you have to consider the size of Nigeria and the population and its role in Africa generally. And, you know, we uh, tend to justify the size of the media in Nigeria with that. Uh, we have over 61 television, or television stations. Over, independent? Yeah, it, no, independent and government. Uh, a lot, over 200 print media houses, mostly private. And uh, you have uh, over 50-something television stations wow. in Nigeria. Uh, this Freedom of Information Bill has simply put, uh, created a situation where you could have access, legal access to information, uh, documents and records of government and the private sector. And also, uh, it cuts across the legislature, the executive, and it goes down to the tiers of government, the state, the federal, and the local governments. Now, if this were to be practiced in its ideal form, it would allow a lot of freedom of information. But Nigeria is generally shrouded in a lot of legal traps mm -hmm. in the secret acts that are still very active in Nigeria that prevent you from asking for any information. You can't get information easily, so even laws, with the passage of the, of the Freedom of Information Bill. So there are laws that are there, but they're just not very effective. Yeah, there are so laws that are there that are not effective. But they are, they are, they are, the laws are protected by people who are generally corrupt, because the Freedom of Information Bill would easily allow corruption to be unearthed. So let me ask you this. As chief of the House of Service with yeah. broadcasters from based here in Washington, mm -hmm. how do they help make sure that that information gets out? Is there an advantage to having journalists, reporters who are reporting from outside some of these countries that are either free, not free, or partly free? Well, it helps because, you know, the fact that you're international broadcasters give you some more leverage over the local people, uh, local colleagues who are there. Uh, you have a stronger reach, you have better equipment, and you have an editorial policy that is freer, gives you more leverage to operate. Uh, these are the issues on the ground. That's the advantage we have. Now, again, we know that uh, other than the law, the journalist in Nigeria is being threatened mm -hmm. uh, by terrorist groups like Boko Haram. Yeah. But also we know that the, the other threat comes from uh, individuals, corrupt people, for example. Way back in 2006, yeah. uh, six gunmen assassinated uh, journalist uh, Bovu Ohu who's an assistant editor at Guardian. Yeah. Uh, now, how, how does this play uh, within you know, a government system? How does the government deal with this? This is all about the corruption aspect I'm, I was talking about. You have a lot of strong organizations and private you know, militias that are either into oil bunkering or are into drugs or are into so many other things, government contract scams that wouldn't let anybody report what they're doing. Let me give you an example. Recently, a panel unearthed this fuel subsidy that was just introduced recently in December last year. Billions of naira are being siphoned by individuals. And we now, have to end it there. I know. It's okay, a, it's, well, there's you a know, lot to say, but that, but, that's um, it. <laughs> I think we've scratched the surface, so that's Thank good. You. And we have yeah. to say good night. Thank okay. you so much for tuning into our special today. Thanks a lot. Good night. All right. Good night.